So in this video I'm going to explain how to configure the host and uh, edge transport node, nodes um, and we're going to start with DCA. So before we're going to start let's look at the drawing and here you can see the, the full drawing again uh, as I explained in my previous video and we're going to focus on the actual edge or the nested hosts and uh, on this part here right so uh, when we dig a little bit deeper in there then we see that inside the edge host or nested edge host um, I have my edge and the 60 edge uh, um, running and we're going to focus on this part here so let's start configuring So now let's jump into DCA and let's log in first to our N6 manager. And this is the local manager that we're talking about. So when we go to system and fabric um, and profiles, the first thing that we're going to do is configure an actual uplink profile. So in the uplink profiles, you will see that I'm going to create an uplink profile for my edge nodes and I'm going to create an uplink profile for my host nodes. So let's start with the edge, uplink, edge, and let's start giving it some, some uh, teaming policy. So the first of all, I'm going to use two interfaces. So uh, the first interface is going to be, or the first teaming, default team policy is going to be load balance source. And the second one is going to be failover for one uh, VLAN, and the other one is going to be or failover for another VLAN or interface. So. So first of all, I prefix my edges with E, uplink01, uh, as the, uh, the uplink name. Um, and uh, well, I also need to add another one there because this is low bell source, so we need a second one. And I'm trying to stay consistent with the naming because otherwise uh, with all these different names it's easy to lose control or I guess get confused. So for the first named teaming policy uplink I'm going to assign just one active uplink which is going to be the E up dash zero one and then let's add a second one and this is going to be the E up zero two And I need to look up my VLAN that I specifically assigned for this edge overlay transport network. So uh, this is going to be uh, 114 that I assigned for my edges. And this is basically the DC, DCA edges. So this we're now busy in data center A. And in data center A, I'm using VLAN 114 uh, for the edge uplinks. And now the edge uplink is uplink profile is going to is, co is configured. We need to create a host uplink profile for our transport host transport nodes. That's the official naming. And this is actually the same way. Uh, instead of prefixing it with an E, I'm prefixing it with an H for host. And I'm actually doing the same here.
Now let's start looking at our IP address pools that we're going to use in order to configure the IP addresses uh, for our edge transport nodes and our host transport nodes. So you can see that I've already pre-configured these and my edge transport nodes are there, my host transport nodes are there. And as you can see, I'm using IP addresses in a different IP range and the one for the RTAPs as well. Um, and the RTAP is the one that we're going to use later. Uh, now that's done, we can start configuring our actual transport zones first. So here you can see that I have the default transport zones um, and I'm going to add two more transport zones to that, which is going to be my transport zone H01. or uplink 01 and we're going to make that a VLAN and we're going to place the uplink named or team, teaming policy names in there as well. So we created a, a name over there. Remember the E-up01 Let me copy that name for consist consistency and um, we're going to create another one which is called 02 and obviously this is going to be a VLAN transport zone as well and we're going to use the following policy name with the 02. And there's one thing we need to do, we need to edit the N6 VLAN transport zone and we need to add in the actual host um, uplink names in there as well. So let's do that. It starts with an H and then zero uplink zero 01 and we need to add in the second one as well. Host dash up zero 012 now and let's hit save there you go and now that we've got our transport zones ready um, i think we are ready to configure the actual Oh, I first want to do a compute manager tag check to make sure that our compute manager is there and it was already configured. So uh, you can see that it's already there um, before we start doing stuff. Um, and let's go to notes. And let's go to the edge transport nodes and we're going to start configuring the edge transport nodes first. And here you can see that, uh, well, the configuration state is not configured yet. So let's click on it to configure it. And here we only leave one NVDS, the default one. We select transport zones. So these are going to be the edge uplink one edge uplink two the overlay transport uh, zones as well um, there's one thing that i want to mention here is that i forgot to add in the actual n6 vlan transport zone um, so that needs to be added in here as well um, and uh, we will run into problems with this when we are actually configuring the the, the, the stretched uh, tier 0 and tier 1 gateway um, but I've fixed it in the in the other video and I explained to you that I also added this in but let me just uh, yeah so we, we also need to select our fastpod interfaces here so here you can see let's do a quick check uh, we select our 
edge uplink profile with an IP pool and we've selected the two interfaces we map the uplink interfaces to the fast path in the interfaces there so let's do the same for uh, the edge 2 and again we're going to select our uplink transport zones and our N6 overlay and we also needed to add in the actual VLAN default VLAN transport zone here so let's select our IP pool and we're talking about edges here so we need to select an edge IP pool and here we map our uplinks to the fastpath interface so we're only using fastpath 0 1 and uh, 0 and 0 sorry 0 and 1 1 um, so uh, that's it so here we can see our first edge is a success uh, let's wait for this one to complete as well so now that we've configured our edges the next step is is to configure an edge cluster which I've already done but right now we're going to add in the edge edges inside the edge cluster so not an exciting of creating an edge cluster but now that we've added our edge edges inside the, the cluster um, we can do a quick verification at the edge transport nodes and see that the edge cluster is assigned to the edges so now that the edges are configured we're going to create a transport node profile in the transport node profile uh, we're going to well, give it a name first of all and this transport node profile is going to be attached to the host uh, transport nodes so uh, First of all, let's give it a name. I like to prefix uh, my profile name sometimes with what it actually is. Uh, so transport my profile compute for the cluster, and we're going to select VDS um, as the 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 actual uh, node switch, and let's select the vSAN server and the VDS here. So um, well, when that's done, you can see the transport zones that I'm going to. Uh, select and I'm going to select the VLAN transport zone and I'm going to select the overlay and transport zone uh, I could also do the other way around uh, and select the other two but let's select the uplink profile which is uplink host profile and the IP pool specifically for the hosts that I created um, and uh, we see that we have two uplinks so basically uplink one and uplink two will be responsible for the actual traffic flow so let's add it uh, here and now you can see I'm, I'm hitting an error so the error that I got is that it's complaining that my VDS is not having a MTU of higher than 1600 which is required the interfaces for overlay traffic in uh, Geneva should have that so uh, let's go to the actual VDS and let's look at the settings and let's edit the settings go to advanced and here we can see that my MTU is 1500 and I'm going to set to 7000 not sure why I'm not using 9000 but I think 7000 is a nice nice figure so uh, now I've done that let's go back let's close this error and let's add it again and see what happens and now it's accepting in my my compute profile so uh, or transport node profile for the compute cluster so let's go to the nodes now and let's just if you can see here let's select my node and go for N6 and if you click for N6 you get the option to select a transport node profile hit apply and now we wait and i fast forward this part a little bit so you can see what's happening um and this this we need to wait i guess five minutes to happen uh, and eventually you see everything is a success and uh, the hosts are actually going to be up and up so that means that our uh, installation of nsxt is a, is a success on these host transport nodes 
Now, uh, we also need to do this on the other sides, right? So we also need to do this on DCA and DCB. So uh, in order to make it uh, to make this video a little bit more watchable, uh, the steps for DCA and for DCB are going to be exactly the same, uh, except you're using different villains and, and and you're using maybe different names in the profiles. But um, I did a fast forward, so I'm going to let you watch this in a very fast manner, and um, yeah, let's see how this is done. So this is the last site, site C, and uh, now we have configured all sites with our host and uh, edge transport nodes. Uh, in, our, in my next video, I'm going to show you how to actually configure the federation bit between the N16, N16 man managers. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.